Now that we've got your employees, positions, and locations set up, it's time to start scheduling. When you click on the Schedule tab across the top of your screen, this is where you'll be taken. This is the admin view of the schedule, and as you can see, you're able to see every location, every position, and every user schedule. If you open the collapsible menu that's on the left side of the schedule, this is where you'll see your schedule filters. These can be especially useful if you need to look at one location schedule if you have multiple. The same goes for positions, groups, and if you scroll the whole way to the bottom, you're actually able to see each user's schedule individually. You'll also notice the ability to filter out certain information from the schedule. Let's say you want to print this, but you don't want unavailability to show up. Simply deselect it. The same goes for different information, like the count of hours for each employee and the labor cost information associated with them. If you'll notice here, the projected sales show right up here on the schedule. Because we only have one location in this demo account, they're here automatically. However, if you have multiple, you can choose to sort by location, which will appear here, and you'll be able to see each location's projected sale right on the schedule. You're also able to sort the schedule by start time, position, group, or tag. If you wanted to see a different view of the schedule, you can look here. You can choose to look at a daily view of the schedule, a weekly, a monthly, and for premium and business members, you're actually able to select two weeks or three weeks at a time. One last thing I'd want to mention is if you look up in the top right corner, this three dots option will actually give you the ability to upload projected sales right to the schedule. If you have an Excel or a CSV file with the projected sales information, you can upload it here.